welcome welcome back to artistic license my thursday stream where we do a little bit of whatever i want so just really quickly here at the beginning i want to say um again we've announced this a couple of times but just to make sure everybody's aware we're having our 200 follower thank you stream party on the first saturday of september so we're gonna do our regular interstage window episode for two hours and then after that, we're going to do four additional hours of streaming where we play with viewers. We're going to be playing some Among Us and we're going to be playing some Jackbox. So come on, join us for that party. The VOD for that will not be posted anywhere. It will just stay on Twitch until it expires from Twitch. So it'll be a good old time. It'll be a good old time. All right. Welcome in, guys. Welcome in. As you know, we like to start with a little quiz here. So... I'm going to go ahead and pop that in the chat for anybody that would like to take it with me. And here we go. Let me kin assign you a controversial fandom. And I love the description of this quiz. People will click on this one because I put kin in the title, right? You guys like that word, right? Anyways, most of the fandoms I wouldn't judge you for being in. Don't worry. <laughs> that absolutely cracked me up. So when I saw this quiz, I had to do it. So here we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Hi. I'm going to start strong. Pick a trope people on the websites love. Enemies to lovers, red and blue Ks. <laughs> oh my God. They were roommates. Not a trope, but causing pain to the characters. Just so much fun. Why? Oh, that one speaks to me. Uh, or fake dating. I, I really like this one or this one. I think we're going to go with enemies to lovers. I'm sorry if you guys can hear like gross sounds. My dog is licking her pause really noisily um, below the microphone. <laughs> What's up, lady? Lady says hi, y'all. Okay. Pick a webtoon I read in the unfortunate webtoon phase from grade six. You know, well, when I was in grade six, they were called web comics. Um, just saying. Um, I don't know what any of these are. Sorry. Oh, okay. That's probably my answer. Luff, The Awkward Magic, Down to Earth, Carl, The Little Trash Maid, Books of Adam or Boyfriends. Oh, Little Trash Maid. That's the only one I know what it is, so we're going with that. Choose a fandom I'm not in but think is pretty epic. The Magnus Archives, Critical Role, The Owl House, BuzzFeed Uns Unsolved, Skate the Infinity. Definitely Skate the Infinity. I see it on my Twitter timeline a lot. It has um, big uh, free vibes, and I loved free, so we're going with Skate the Infinity. Super Who or Lock? <laughs> Oh, oh, one of the answers is fuck you. Hilarious. Okay, super, obviously. Be honest. Do you know what ABO is? No, what the fuck is that? Um, no, but I know it's cursed and I'm scared to look it up. <laughs> Unfortunately. OMG, Dean Winchester has mo MW? I don't know what MW means. Um, in heat, heart, eyes, emoji. This hurts me as much as it hurts you. Don't be scared of the cringe. Okay, don't be scared of the cringe, quiz maker. Um, we're gonna go, we're gonna go with, uh, with this answer. Hey, Lunar! Oh, you got first! You got first! Welcome on in, welcome in. You haven't missed anything yet, we're still doing the quiz. I've only seen part of Glee, but I'm a little bit obsessed with the clip comps on YouTube, so pick a problematic Glee moment that makes you go keyboard smash. Uh, Sue trapping Kurt and Blaine in an elevator with a saw doll with a Sue wig on it and not letting them leave until they kissed. I stopped watching Glee very early. I, I don't remember this scene. Uh, Shu spying on Finn in the locker room and then planting drugs in his locker so that he would join the Glee Club. I do remember that one. You're all minorities. You're in the Glee Club. Camera pans to Kurt in Mercedes. Every time Shu sings a song about sex with a group of teenagers, pick your favorite. Oh, that happens so many times. You know, Glee did absolutely everything and it did all of it wrong. Um, and you know, that's just what makes it such a special show. That time Quinn got a wheelchair, so they had her and Artie sing, I'm still standing. Don't remember that part. Anyway, we're going with this part because that's, that's what made Glee special. All right. Choose a fandom I almost included, but didn't either to shorten the list or because it didn't fit Dan plan. Remember the January drama? That shit was crazy. I don't know what Dan plan is. Dan and Phil. Just cut for simplicity because I heard the fandom got a revival and is less weird now. Good for y'all. Uh, Doki Doki Literature Club. Nothing too controversial, but it was popular. So like a similar energy to some of the answers, you know. Gotcha Life. This was a children's dress-up game. You can't blame the people who made it for the Bakuteku smut edits, guys. 
<laughs> I mean, that's always going to happen, you know? I mean, it's the internet. Steven Universe. Oh, Steven Universe isn't in this? Wow. Honestly, I just cut this one because I couldn't think of a joke. Oh, well, we're definitely going with that one. I love me some Steven Universe. Sorry, not sorry. Glee gets a pass because the fandom is fun. Like, they know their poor little meow meow of a show is questionable, and I respect that. So this is funny. Every Glee RP on Tumblr I ever saw was an AU. I never saw just a Glee roleplay. There would be, like, a Glee Disney roleplay, or there would be, like, a Glee Pokemon roleplay, or, you know, or, like, a, a Glee, um, but it's university roleplay. Like, there was no such thing as, like, a Glee roleplay. None of the Glee roleplayers liked Glee. They just wanted to play with the characters. Anyway, Steven Universe is my answer. Final question. Pick a fandom that I'm in that I don't think is cringe, but they might be cringe to you. I don't know. Cringe culture is dead. Cringe culture is dead. Agree. Uh, Team Star Kid, Polygon, Sander Slides, AJR, Buff Studio, Studio C, Julian the Phantoms. I only know about half of those. But anyway, we're going with um, Polygon. I never answer these. What does this one say? Say something funny. If you say something funny, you get a Jolly Rancher. You're not going to give me a Jolly Rancher. Liar. Hitalia. <laughs> I actually have watched a lot of Hitalia um, and read a lot of Hitalia. I'm not going to lie. Um, okay, my friend's dad watches Hitalia, and that's the only thing I can think of to build a joke off of. So you're my friend whose dad watches Hitalia. Okay, I mean, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it, I have to say. Um, there's some gems in Hitalia, I'm not going to lie. Okay, the other answers were Duncan Rompa, Homestuck. I still don't know how Homestuck works and I don't want to know. Super Who Lock. Oh, there we go. Um, Dream of Minecraft. Is this, is that the Minecraft streamer? I don't know what, anything about Minecraft streams. People have tried to explain it to me, but as soon as the information goes in my head, I just, and it falls right out my ear. You know what I mean? Okay. Harry Potter. Oh, I would have loved to get that. Undertale, Hamilton. Oh, only the 1% gets Italia. Okay. So I guess I'm, I guess I'm rare. I guess I'm rare. Okay. Well, that's the quiz for today. I really did pick it because it had the word kin in the name and I just wanted to see what somebody thought a bunch of problematic fandoms was, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I really like my answer. I like that I got Hitalia. I would have also been happy with Harry Potter or um, Super Who Lock, probably. I wonder why most people get Danganronpa. Um, I don't know. I don't know about that. But okay, guess what? Let me switch back to the webcam for a second. It's time for some Final Fantasy. So let's get that going. Turn my controller on. There we go. Let's turn the volume back up. Okay, and here we go. Now you guys can see it? No, you cannot see it. Find Final Fantasy. There we go. It found it. Okay. Okay, so here we go. We had finished getting all the things for Riku's ultimate weapon, but we had to stop there because that Cactuar thing is long and tedious. So what we're gonna do now is a bunch of little bits and bobs to kind of collect some more of the Celestial Weapon pieces. We almost got enough um, stuff in the arena to get Orin's uh, sigil, but uh, we didn't quite finish that. So we are gonna go over to, um, let's see. No, we're gonna go over to Mount Gagazette. Yeah, we need to get ah, we three bander snatches. So we need to get three of the little wolf guys that are in Mount Gagazette. But first, let's talk to our lore friend here, see what he has to say. Shall I tell you about the spear of days long past, eh? Yes, I would like to hear that. There is a legend, you know. Just before the horrible sin here. A terrible war raged between Bavel and Zanagan. When the armies of Bavel attacked Mount Gagazet, they heard a song echoing across the snowy slopes. It is a song from an other world, they said. The soldiers panicked and ran. Then, as if to pursue the retreating armies, sin appeared. Oh. Some time later, scouts from Bavel braved the mountain. On the other side, they witnessed the ruins that had been Zanagand. The city destroyed, not a single soul left standing, gone. In its place, a multitude of the faith had gathered on Gagazet. They were singing a song. We saw this. It's the song we now call Hymn of the Faith. And 
That was this A's dad. Well, maybe not all of it. Well, it's something. That was a good story. Okay, there's a little vendor right here. Ronzo always prepared to fight. Always keep weapons and armor in top shape. That's right, so that's why we're going to sell some of our stuff. I'm just gonna scroll down past all this. Okay, we can start with this. Yes. Let's sell it all. We don't need any of this. Get some money, get some money. Does it sound super satisfying to anyone else when they can just hear, like, the cha-ching over and over? I wish that could happen in real life. Like, I could just get money and just hear cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Over and over. All of this stuff is just, we're just never going to use it, so there's no point. There's no point in trying to keep it. Even if some of this stuff could be useful, we're working on the celestial weapons and then we won't really use anything else. Almost at the bottom. There we go. Okay. Lunar, by the way, how are you doing today? If you're still listening. Are you still... Uh, is this your last week then? Since last week was your two weeks? Uh, let's do this. Items. Equipment. Sort you. Okay. Very cool. Alright, let's go get some Bander Snatches. We only need to get three of them. We don't have to get all ten. That, you know, we've been trying to get ten of everything for the capture quest. But... We only really need three. We're just trying to unlock a wolf guy. Of course, none in the first one, but let's see what we do have. We have two grats, and then what is this guy called? Ashura. Okay. We're gonna try to kill these guys. Oh, Titus can't damage it. Okay, good to know. And then I need to. These guys will hit kind of hard, so we're going to power break the Bashura. So when he punches us, it's not too bad. And that seed cannon is annoying. Oh, good. Good job. Missing. Ah, oh, Waka couldn't dodge twice. Okay, let's do this. Um, steel... So they die in two hits now. It's been a minute since we've been back here. Been a minute. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's get the wish yeah. Oh, it takes a lot of hits for him to die. Okay. See, he hits so hard. It's so annoying. We're not gonna stay here right now and do um, all of these. We're just trying to get the three. Um, what are they called? Bander snatches. The little wolf guys. Three of those. If you get three of each wolf, then you can unlock ten rear, and that will help us get to the ten. Oh, this group again. Okay. We're not going to pass them up if we still can use that capture, you know what I mean? Like, why not go ahead and do it? Poor Riku, she does not do a lot of damage. Maybe I should put Titus back in the party. He can't he can damage because he's got the water on him, he can't damage the um No time to the waste. Rats. Let's go. 
Okay, give me Beacon Bandersnatch, please. I only need three. Well, I guess at least this one's slightly different. Alright. Um, let's get Kamari in here instead. Okay. What's that, a grenade? Yes, okay. Good job, Orin. Can I kill them in three hits now without using magic? We'll find out. Um, let me check this with Lulu. Okay, we need ice. We need to keep hitting him with Kamari. So let's do... Kamara? That won't kill him. That won't kill him. He'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, uh, that didn't do much damage at all. Should not have done that! He's gonna explode before I kill him. I can feel it! Yeah. And he's gonna explode, and then I lost the... Yeah, so I can't capture him. Alright, I'm gonna have to figure out a better strategy for capturing those guys. I think maybe two hits from Kamari and a hit from Orin could do it. Probably. Let's see. Uh, other formation. I want to put uh, Walker back in the party. And let's cure him. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. I think if I hit the grenade with Kamari and Orin just exclusively, then I should be able to capture him. Alright, two more of these crap guys. <laughs> miss, 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 miss. Aw. Oh. It's okay, you're about to die. Goodbye. See you never. So I have a, a fun, um, a fun, funny adult story that has that has happened to me uh, recently. So, do any of y'all own dogs? Do y'all have a dog? No. I have a dog. We have a dog and four cats, as mm. a lot of you guys know. Let's go. And one of my dog's favorite snacks is to go into the cat room where we keep the cat food and cat litter and eat cat shit. She loves it. It's her favorite. Um, for her, cat shit is like a delicious treat. <laughs> she can't get enough. So this has been an issue for the past couple of years, where she used to be afraid of, like, cracked doors. She wouldn't push them open by herself. She just cracked the door, no problem. But as she got older, uh, she got to where she was not scared of cracked doors anymore. So she would just go in there and eat the cat nuggets. Even when the, the door was, you know, pretty well cracked and she would have to, you know, push it open, which she used to not do. So we've been dealing with this for a couple of years. And today, we finally solved the problem. We installed a cat door for the cat room. So the cat door goes from one inside room to another inside room, but now she can't get in. And y'all, the first day that we had that installed, she came in from outside, like we had let her out, she came in from outside. And of course she went straight, she went straight to her favorite snacks. Uh, her, the cat nuggets in the cat room and she couldn't get in and she was so upset she was so sad that there was no more cat nuggets for her and oh my god I never have to deal with that again and I'm so happy like I can't I can't even express like how happy this makes me that we do not have to deal with stopping her from eating cat nuggets anymore and I know that is like so lame that that shit would make me happy and that's like so you know a 30 year old kind of thing but um i don't care i am so happy that she cannot eat cat shit anymore like i cannot express okay let's try to get this grenade this time i think if i hit it with just kimari and orin then it will die and i'll capture it 
That's what I gotta do. I gotta go for it with Kamari and Orin. Alright, we don't need these guys anymore. I'll be right back. We're done with grass. We got enough of those. But the game hasn't given me any bander snatches yet, and I know they spawn here. So I don't know what's up with that. Like really? Game. What did I do to you? All I've ever done is love and cherish you. And then you don't, you know, cooperate with me. Give me good RNG. That won't go so easy on you next time. There's just no reason for this. We could be getting along so much better. Oh my god. He's never ending. Well, at least we still need this guy. It's another Bashura. You gotta be almost dead at this point. Yeah, he almost dead. Tomorrow you have to go to work? So is that is that your last day, Lunar? Like, how much longer do you have? It's your last week before... Oh, so you have three more weeks. Okay. I understand now. Well, I'm so sorry that you have that much longer. That's a shame. Four more shifts. Oh, four more shifts total. Okay. Alright, I almost died. That's wonderful. Let's get uh let's get Yuna in here. <laughs> Pick my ass up. I should have just killed the, the those guys. I was trying to just kill the Bashura, but that didn't work out. Alright, let's let's life up Kimari. Get up, Detroit Lion. Orin. Well, Lunar, you can power through those four shifts. You're strong, so I know you can do it. And then you I'm sure you will move on to bigger and better things. At that point in your career. Yeah, I should I should just kill those guys. I shouldn't be trying to do that because they confuse and it's annoying. Alright, so let's Asuna on Orin. And then maybe he can kill the Bashura. And I can be done. Yeah, I hope so. Bye! See you never! Oh, good job, Kamari. <laughs> Alright, let's get out here. Miss let's me? get the fuck out of here. Live and let live. Okay, I'm not gonna do that again. I'll just actually kill the, the Grats instead of trying to, you know, only kill the things that I have to. I'm trying to do them a favor, but, you know, they weren't interested in my favors, I guess. Alright! Game. Give me Bandersnatches. I know they spawn here. Oh, these. No totally useless. That totally won't go useless. So easy on you next time. I do not need these owlbed things. We need three Bandersnatches. This really shouldn't take so long. I can't believe we've not even gotten one yet. Let's do this, because we can kill him pretty fast. So we'll get this grenade. Miss. Good job. And the miss. Oh, I guess I'll kill one. Nope, he didn't kill it. Right. I will go so Bye. easy on you next time. See you never. Okay, come on, game, give me Bander Snatch. I know they're here. There's one. Fucking fine. You guys are toast. My God. All right, so we got Bander Snatch. That's one. We need to get two more. What's this guy? A Nidhogg? Okay. <laughs> 
Let's see. Okay, I do need to capture him. Might as well kill this guy, I guess, while we're here, you know. I know it can't be captured, I know. But I figured while we're here, it was faster. Give me two more. Give me two more. Oh, another grenade thing. Okay. No, just regular haste on the line is fine. I don't need to I don't need to go all out. We're just trying to kill the grenade. Yeah, grow up. Grow up, sir. You're still gonna die. Bye bye. At least their first attack is pretty much always seed cannon instead of the the do 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 the seed bullet thingy that gives you the uh we can let live. that's actually annoying. So at least there's that. Okay, I guess I'm gonna run on this part instead of the snow part, because that's where I found the bandage snatch, so maybe I run on this part. Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay. Come on, Walker. Kill this guy. What's he called? An imp. <laughs> And then we gotta get the grenades. So we do still need more of those. Man, we're gonna end up catching all the grenades too. We already got all the um, grass before we even find the three bander snatches we came here for. This is ridiculous. Okay, I need everybody's energy thinking about those little Bandersnatch Wolfie guys so we can get two more of those. So everybody please send that energy, send those thoughts, manifest. We manifest the Bandersnatch. Manifest it. It didn't work. Oh no. And it's the Bashura that I hate. takes forever to kill. Okay. We're just gonna flee. I don't wanna deal with this group. I don't wanna deal with this group. I don't even need the rats anymore. Come on. Come on, Bandersnatches. Where are you? I need to heal up again. Come here, Wolfies. I only want to capture you from for the, this man's menagerie. It'll be fun. You'll get to have experiments where he discovers new big baddies. So your life will have meaning and purpose. Don't you want that for yourself? Don't you? Don't you want that at all? Alright. Let's haste on. Let's get this grenade. And then we will run away. I definitely want to get all the grenades done with because it feels exhausting watching their little animation where they grow big every time. <laughs> Whatever you say, Titus. Whatever you say. Okay. Alright, Bander Snatches. I still need two more. I'm trying to get as many celestial weapons as we can this stream. There's another one. Yay. Okay. Another one of those. Oh yeah. And I guess we got another Nidhogg too. That's fine. Alright. Alright. 
Oh, I thought that might kill him, but I guess not. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! There we go. Goodbye. Okay, one more Bandersnatch. And we'll come back here later, of course, to do more capturing at some point. Yeah. Mm, yeah, let's do the same strat. Same strat. Please don't orange so we can get the grenade and then we'll run away. I don't think I marked my... Oh! That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> Oops! Well, he missed. And there's still seed cannon, so it's all good. There we go. I don't know if I need two more grenades or three more grenades. I think I might have forgotten to mark off one of them. But now I'm unsure. I'll be fly right back. Here. Go away, fly. Okay. Come on, Bandersnatch, I just need one more. Give me that Bandersnatch and Nidhogg group again. There we go. There we go. Good game. Good game. Okay. That's three Bandersnatches. That's what we needed. Alright, let's go ahead and kill this guy too, because why not? It's what he deserves. It's what he wants. So, you know, let's give him what he wants. Okay, so now we need to go back to the Calm Lands and get one more Skull. Because we only got um, two of those ever and we need three Skulls as well. So we're going to head back over there. The final showdown. Yeehaw! Here we go. Alright, to Calm Lands. Yes. We've done some we monster caching in Calm Land, so we don't need to find three skulls. We've already done two at another point, but we do need to find um, one more skull. Come to me, come to me. Come to me, doggy. Oh, this isn't what we needed, but we do need two more anacondar, so why not? I don't want to be stoned right now. I try to play this game. Gosh. Oh, oh no, Orin heals him. That's not good. Oh no, now two of them are stoned. Okay. Come on, Yuna, fix this mess. Fix this mess that the boys made. Alright, let's Asuna. I'm Titus. Oh my god, and it stoned him again. Good lord. Come on, Yuna, do a Suna. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's a Suna on Amari. Alright. We're not going to attack him with Orin this time, and therefore screw things up. Let's bring in Waka instead. There we go. Goodbye, Anacondar. And let's kill the other one. Well, that's all the Anacondars we need, because apparently we got a lot last time we were here in the uh, Calm Lands doing some capturing. Alright. I guess I can go to the south. That's probably more likely where we're gonna get the skulls to spawn in that south part. Let me ride. All right, let's go right here. Let's get off the chocobo. Sorry, chocobo. We're just gonna run around here for a little bit until we find another skull. Oh, of course. We find some Queerls instead. Oh, we can go ahead and capture those, because we still do need more Queerls. 
Let's do... Let's be really cheatery, though. Let's get rid of the shit. Boom. Boom. Goodbye. Do the same thing for the other one. Haste is the cheapest, and I love it. Haste all the time. Haste every day. Oh my god, we don't need you anymore. Go I'll away. be right back. There should be more skulls, I think, around here. They're like little monsters. Like the easy group, so they should be around here. Oh, but no, more quirrels. Okay. Well, that's fine, I guess. Thank you so much for the lurk, Luna. We love our lurkers here, of course. Happy to always have you guys in the stream. Skull, I just need one. The RNG is just like not on my side. I felt like I would be like done with this little bit by now. But I'm not. Oh, there's one. Yay. Okay. And two neighbors. Okay. So we got one of those. And there we go. Woo ha! No, you can get that, Kamari. Poison. Rude. Oh yeah. Take that. Take that. Okay. That's what we needed. We can get back on our chocobo now and go unlock Orin's sigil. So it's ten area or species of conquests. So those extra ones that I had unlocked that I thought counted last time that I thought we already had ten. But we didn't because they have to be specifically area or species conquests. So. Now we're gonna go get them. Wowzers, you completed a total of 10 races and areas. Hmm, you seem to be worthy of the prize. I gather it's a priceless item, but I have no use for it. Hell yeah, we got the Mars sigil. After taming all the little birds you brought me, I bred something out of this world. Oh, Mega Phoenix. Fabulous. Want to take a swing at it? No. Yeah, not up to it. I'll make sure he's always ready. But not for free. That's fine. Alright, you should have more. Grim fiends lurk in the dungeon of the Trader Omega. Can you guess what I'm trying to say? Um, I've been researching specimens from Beacon Hill Island. Yes. No. We're just unlocking it. I'm not going to try fighting those things right now. Alright. Want to take a swing at it? No. Yeah, I know. I know. I think there should be one more. In researching fiends, you brought me and created the ultimate wolf. Yes, that's what I was trying to do. Because I knew that would unlock what we needed for Orin. Okay. I just want to double check while we're here um, for the monsters from Homelands. Okay, so four skulls. Yes, that's right. Four of the neighbors. Well, that's not right. Alright, I do have some wrong things in my numbers. Flame Plan, we've only done one. Shred, we've done two. Um, Anaconda, 10, Ogre, only one. Yes, that's accurate. Coweerl. Okay, so I have one more of those. Malbro. Okay, that's accurate. Chimera Brain. That is... Oh, hey, dragon! How's it going? Happy to see you here. Oh, and some puns! I bet this is a pun. I don't even have to read it. I know it's a pun. Let's see what it says. A farmer notices all the cows have fallen over. 
He asks the bull why he was still standing. He replied, We bulls wobble, but we don't fall down. We bulls do wobble, but they don't fall down. Remember it. Don't forget it. <clears throat> Alright, we got three bandersnatches. We got eight grenades. Alright, so... I think I'm, I'm off a little bit on the grenades. Oh no, I'm not. Yeah, we got all the grats. We got Bashuras. Okay. Okay, and that's all we got from there. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so that's all updated. I'm gonna go ahead and save because we just got that Mars sigil. Yes, I want to early night. Okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do, woo, we're gonna play a Blitzball game. We're gonna play a Blitzball League game. And who are we playing? We are playing um, the Guado, Guado Glories. Okay, Guado Glories. Hopefully we can win this one. The Guado Glories do swim really fast, but we are gonna try. Yes, let's proceed. All right, I think all the techs are good. I think Jasu still doesn't know any techs. Poor Jasu. His stats are good, but he just, he don't got the techniques. Okay. Uh, do I want to do any marks? Oh, yes. Wither Pass, that's good for you. Um, volley Shot, yes, I want that for Waka. Let's see what else. Venom Pass, that's fine. Nida. Uh, tackle Slip? Would be good for Jasu. Venom Pass for Yuma. Is there anything for Yuma? There's nothing for Yuma, but that's okay. She's the goalie. She don't need no mark. Dragon, I'm so happy you're here. I've been missing your puns. I feel like for the longest time they were like daily fuel for me. You know what I mean? I just love them so much. Add, like, that little spark of joy to an otherwise mundane day. Yes, copied it. So Titus got that wonderful. Um, let's do... Get it, Jasu. Aw. Oh, Bada almost didn't catch it. Let's see. No, I do. Let's do mark mode. No, I'll switch back to normal. I thought I'd try mark mode for a bit, but it's like, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. The Guado Glories should not be. It's crazy hard. I just, but I still do have to score, of course. I still have to score. All right, how many of you got to break? He's only got to break two. So we can do that, and then shoot. Let's do a venom shot. Oh, I should have tried to break both of them. That was a good roll, Waka. He's not gonna make it. Yeah, but I tried. I tried. I thought maybe he'd at least get the venom, you know, and poison the goalie, but no. Alright, you can do it, Nida. Venom tackle. Boom. Yeah, good job, girl, good job. Alright. Um, no break. Just pass it to Titus. Don't catch it, guys, don't catch it. I'm probably gonna catch it. Oh! Oh, yes, yes, yes! Good job, Nada, good job. Alright, so let's break and then let's do eject shot. This should score. This should score. Look at how high his shot is up at 23. That's so nice. I love that number. It's a nice, nice big old number. Beautiful. That's V for victory! Oh man, they got it again in the blitz off? That's not fair. I didn't get it either time. Oh, almost ran. Ah, uh, their guy's pass is too good. 
for it. Why are you going in a circle, Vera? <laughs> the AI is so weird with its circle technique sometimes. I don't understand what they're doing. Good job, Jossie. Good job. All right. Go ahead and break. And then pass. All right. Waka can try again to shoot. Since we already got us one score. Let's see if he can do it. Can you do it, Waka? Um, let's break. And then shoot. We'll do a normal shot. The shoot's only a little bit higher than this guy's catch, Noi Guado. So. <gasps> but he did it. Oh, yeah. I think I might have finally broke past that barrier in Blitzball where winning is suddenly easy. Like, because it's just a numbers game and you just have to keep leveling up and then eventually you just, because you're a human and not an AI, you end up leveling up faster than the AI does and then you can just like win, 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 win. So I hope I'm at that point. It kind of feels like it after the Blitzball last time we played Final Fantasy X and the Blitzball this time. It's so weird that there's a Blitzball player that has the weird ass dress. Like, there's so much ass and hip going on in that dress. Like, I can't. Good job, Nada. Good job. Alright, pass. Why don't you pass to Titus? Oh, it's halftime. Okay. I didn't even realize the clock had run out that far. Yeah, see, I'm just, like, way higher level than the Guado Glories. And Titus learned Wither Pass. That's wonderful. All right, same positions. Second verse, same as the first. Okay, I want to keep those texts done. Um, I need to change his mark, though. Let's try to get him Venom Tackle. Uh, let's see. What other... What can we get Waka? Nap Shot. That would be good. Mm -mm -mm. I guess you can get super goalie grin. I'm never gonna put you on goalie though, so I don't know what that would be about. Ooh, wither pass two, there we go. Uh, let's see. Venom tackle, I guess. Yuma. Uh, I guess you can get venom tackle. Alright. Nope. No, venom tackle. There we go. Done. Yes. Alright, we just have to make sure that they don't score, which should be pretty easy, because my goalie's pretty damn good. Oh, and I caught it this time. Yay! Alright, let's pass it. I really need to level up Waka so we have, you know, so he can shoot reliably. Because, like, Titus can shoot reliably, but, like, Waka kind of can't. So we're just going to do... We're just going to pass back and forth a little bit. Okay, go back to Rin. Alright, we're going to break and then pass again. Oh, good job, Rin. I love when he does that. <laughs> it's my favorite. The little slip. Titus. Uh, yep. Break, and then we will do a spear shot. No need to do a jack shot. There's not enough people blocking. Ooh, Rin learned. Okay, Rin got super goalie. That's cool. Alright, three points up. It should not be possible for them to win no matter what I do at this point. So that's awesome. That's what we want. That's what we like to see. This pass is just too good. It's like 24 or something, 26, something crazy like that. Ridiculous. Ridiculous pass score. Should be illegal. Unless he was on my team, then it would definitely not be illegal. Oh, good job, Jasu. Let's go ahead and pass to Nada. Um, because she needs to level up some. 
All right, good job, good job. And then let's pass. Uh, no break. No break, just pass. We'll pass over to Rin. Oh, I'm gonna fumble it. Yeah, that's okay though. There's no way they're gonna get three points. We've already, you know, spent two minutes in this quarter or half quarter. This is Blitzball, it's got halves. Gosh, self. I don't know why he didn't just try to shoot from there. His shot's not horrible. Good job, Jasu. The Blitzball music always gets me, like, so freaking pumped. Aw, oh, I didn't do it right. I didn't push the button right. Get him, Waka. It amuses me that, like, when you get these unique, more unique NPCs recruited, like, um, Rin or whatever, like, and all the NPCs, really, like, they don't change clothes. <laughs> they don't, like, put on a Blitzball uniform or anything. It's just, like, whatever their regular clothes are that they wear, that's what they wear in the Blitz sphere, too. Um, <laughs> it's just really, I find that really funny. Should Nada try to shoot? Nada should try to shoot. Go for it, Nada. You can shoot. Probably not, but we're gonna try. Oh, yeah, she, she shouldn't even break. All right, come on. Go, Nada, go, Nada, go. This is your moment. This is your moment, girl. And you didn't, you didn't do it. Well, she's a defender anyway. Oh, then I'm tackle for sure. Good job. Good job, Nada. Now you can shoot with your five shot. <laughs> with your total of five shot. There's no way. Oh, she didn't even. She didn't even break. <clears throat> hey, at least her shot's not one like this girl right here, Ada. I think that's a girl. Yeah, that's a girl, Ada. One shot, awful. I assume she's a defender on their team too. If her shot's that low, she should be anyway. If she's not playing defense. Wow. Why would you shoot from so far away? Yeah, there was no way that was going to work. You should have tried to get closer. Alright, Jasu, let's just swim around in the last 10 seconds. Alright, let's break and dribble. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, going to my own goal. Time's up. <clears throat> Alright. Very good, very good, guys. Okay. This contract's expiring. <clears throat> Looks like everybody decided just to re-up the same contracts. Alright, very good. The Sadoark's current team level is two, number of wins, seven. So I'm getting better, I'm getting better. Okay, we're gonna go back. And now we've won enough Blitzball that we should be able to do the thing we tried to do so many streams ago. So, let's go to Luca and try to the do the final thing. Alright. We gotta go to that bar in Luca. It didn't work before. They told me I had to get better at Blitzball. But I think, I think I'm much better at Blitzball now. I'm not better at scrolling yeah. through this menu, though. Here we go. Still messed that up. <laughs> but I think I'm, I think I'm better. I think I'm better enough at Blitzball. Okay, let's go back here. You have to go back to the bar. This fly in here, y'all, is attacking my nose! Stop attacking my nose, fly. There's nothing interesting there. Alright. This should work this time. We've played enough Blitzball and we've won lots of games. Um, we've lost lots of games too, but we've won lots of games, so this should work. Hey there, star player. Oh yeah, there we go. Hey, you have it, right? Let me see it for a second. Yes, we would love to use the Celestial Mirror. Here comes Waka. 
Amazing! I can say that I'm honored to hand over the family heirloom. Hell yeah, that is the beginning of Waka's celestial weapon. So we got the world champion, and we still have to power it up, of course. We still have to get the sigil, but there we go. Our ancestors received the artifact from Lord High Summoner O'Holland. Oh, we got it's O'Holland's. Okay, please use it with care. Don't worry, Waka will not use it with care. He does not use anything with care. Um, but that's okay. We love him anyway. All right. I think the closest safe sphere is actually if we go up here. Okay, so the next place that we're going to go is a little bit of a surprise. It's a little bit of a surprise, guys. Can you guess? Can you guess where we're going next? What we need to go do? There is a little, there's a little bit of backtracking that we have to do. Something I didn't do um, when we were there. I should have gone right back in and done this, but I didn't. Forgot this was a thing, but we're going to go do it now. The final showdown was... There's an extra special treasure in Xanarkand, so we gotta go back to Xanarkand. I thought I'd remember to grab everything, yeah, but I didn't. Didn't. But it's okay, because we're going there with monster catching weapons now, so we're actually gonna do some catching while we're there. Um... Wait, will this take us? Oh! I don't want to go to Gagazet, I want to go to the dome area. Okay, so I think I don't have to walk down the whole thing. I think I can just teleport. Yes! Hell yes, I can just teleport. Okay. No, I, I want to go this way. Yes. I forgot these teleports were here. Oh, so I don't have to go fight everything. Fabulous, I can just do the puzzle. We can come back and do the um, other things later. Okay, so there's one final puzzle inside the Xanarkin Temple, but you can't do this puzzle until you beat Unaleska and then you have to come back later. So you can see there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven white squares. So we need to find the white squares. So you can kind of see in the outline where they are. And if you remember last time from the puzzle here, there were white squares, but they weren't actually used in any of the puzzles. This is where you do all the white squares. So we did three so far. So this should be four. That looks like a white square. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, I don't want to go down there. I do not want to go down there. Jane, welcome, welcome. Disturbed, excited, heartsick in here for it. Why are you heartsick, Jane? Or disturbed? I hope you're mostly excited. If you're not, tell me all about it. Okay, this is five. Uh, let's see. Six. There's one more. Let's see if we can spot it. Seven. You just miss Katie? Well, tell her to get her booty in here. I miss her too. Every time I don't see her. Oh, the song. Remind me what celestial weapons again. So these are the ultimate weapons in the game that we've been collecting slowly for the past several streams but we're gonna make lots of progress today. We already got um, Orin's Mars Sigil, which we'll, we'll, we will add. Um, we got Waka's uh, World Champion, which will help with his, even though we don't have his sigil or anything yet. And we're about to get a treasure here so that we can unlock even more. This actually is gonna help us with something else. How many are there? There's one for each character, so that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've already got several of them. We've already got some before. And last stream we got um, Riku's and we got, we got like a bunch of stuff for Riku's. So we'll finish hers as well. But anyway, you have to unlock that extra treasure for this other thing that we're gonna do. Okay, so that's done. If you don't go back and do that, then you're gonna get stuck when you try to unlock this other thing that we're gonna do today. Okay, so now that we did that, let's get back on the airship and let's go do something really fun. Um, I thought I was here for one of these, but maybe you explained them before. Yeah, you've been here for some of them. You definitely have. The final showdown was she. I say let's get this yes! show on the road. Isn't the airship wonderful? We love it. But yeah, you were here for you were here for at least one of the streams that we've been doing this for sure. Okay, so we're finally gonna go to this Bodge Temple place. There's a celestial yeah! weapon here. Here we go. And we're gonna unlock another Aeon. 
So you'll be thinking of a name. So just to remind you guys, we didn't really name Valifor. We kept his regular name, but we've got Snuggles, Cuddles, Kisses, and Floofy. So we need a name that matches that aesthetic for um, Anima. And Anima's super problematic. So be thinking about it. Be thinking about it while we do this. But first, first we're going to do Sphere Grid. First we're going to do Sphere Grid because we need to level up. Which we have not done in a long time. All right. Wow, Waka has lots, lots of moves. <laughs> oh, you guys crack me up. I love you guys so much, by the way. So, so much. I must have, I've been using Waka a lot, I guess. Ooh, he's gonna get his last ability. Yay, yay, yay. Triple foul. Oh yeah. Okay, and then he's at his end, so I guess we'll use a level. I don't have very many level three key skiers. I'm gonna have to probably farm some at some point. All right, then who's this down here? I think this is Orin's. So Waka can go this way and start going on Orin's uh, sphere area. I think that's what this is. Let's see, what is this ability? Armor break, yes, this is Orin's area. Fabulous. That's so good for him. All right. Lulu. All right, you can finally get double cast. It's going to be awesome. Okay. Oh, orange. Sentinel. So he, if he unlocks that, he can go into Titus's area. Okay. I think I only have one left, so let me just see what everybody else is doing before I make that decision. See, Yuna's gonna need one too. Hmm. I guess I'll use use it to unlock for Orin. No. Yeah. Yep, we'll unlock this one. Could I use my points to unlock a command for exclamation the truth? Absolutely, Jane. Absolutely. You can have whatever commands you want. You just tell me and we'll make them happen. Alright, so now Orin is in Titus's area. What's this right here? In trust. Okay, I definitely need to get that for him. Um, the truth, I want your hot. <laughs> yes, Jane, we can do that. We can absolutely do that. Alright, did I do everybody? Oh no, we still gotta do Riku. Oh, now she's kind of trapped because we have no more level 3 key spheres. So what do I want to do for her? This next time Katie's on? Okay, okay, okay. I hear. I'm picking up what you're putting down, my friend. Okay. Um, I forgot how to zoom out. Mm, is it this? No. Mm, maybe it's select. There we go. Okay, so we don't have any level 3 key spheres to get her to do that. What's this over here that takes a billion level 4 key spheres? Full life. Definitely don't really care that much about that. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> Guess I could take her, if I take her up here, and then we can use a level 2 key sphere to unlock that and get her on Lulu's path. I guess that'll work. Alright. No? Alright, how far back will it let me move? It'll let me go back here. Okay. Let's go backtrack, backtrack. Backtrack, backtrack. Riku has real Britney Spears vibes. Yes, she does, and she's beautiful for it. Yes, let's return to the main menu. Okay, we're gonna do Jane's command real quick, because um, I feel like that's good luck for what's about to come. Okay. Mm -mm. 
So you want, okay, I see, exclamation the truth and then you're hot. Okay, we're doing it right now, we're doing it right now. Let's see. It's been a second since I've made one of these, so. There we go, Jane. There we go. That's all for you. All right, let's save. Yes, I want to save. Oh wait, there's one. Wait, there's something I have to do first. I almost forgot. Okay. We need Titus, Waka. No, that's fine. And then Riku in the party. And I need to set their weapons. <laughs> oh, fabulous. Oh, fabulous. Kitty said she might make the end of the stream, so this timing is perfect. Oh, wonderful. Okay. So we're going to switch over to their ultimate weapons. Um, let's see. We don't have Riku's ultimate weapon, so we're going to do this alchemy one. And then we don't have Waka's. Do we have anything else for him that's decent? Still power? No. We'll just keep him with Catcher. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Because we're going to cheat. This fight happens in the water. And so you only can do our three water friends. So it's really annoying. What's up? Something here. I almost got eaten by a fiend here. Y'all remember? I get the picture. All right, let's go. From our very first stream together. Very first Final Fantasy stream. Okay, let's dive. Okay, it's time. It's time for payback. Forever ago. Okay, this guy is so freaking annoying. He'll like swallow you and it's really weird the way that the mechanic works. Anyway, I like to just cheat. We're gonna mix and we're gonna mix. We should have these because of the, um, Stuff that we've been doing at the Monster Arena, and you know, he gives like 99 of a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm looking for a Shining Gem and a Door to Tomorrow that we should have. There's a Shining Gem. And I should have a Door to Tomorrow as well. Where are you? Yeah, a Door to Tomorrow. Okay, and that's going to give us this trio of 999. And it's basically going to make me like super invincible. Alright, so... Let's freaking kill him. See, I do 999 damage. Katie, welcome! Welcome, welcome! Oh my gosh! So happy to have you here. Okay, there's no reason to do this, lots. Let's just attack. Um, I half asked my last task for the day to be here before the stream finished. Katie, I appreciate you so much. So, so much. Oh no, Waka died. Okay. Oh, and I don't even know... I don't know how much HP this guy has left. Let's do this. Alright. And then we'll do... Um... We don't need that. Let's just do a Phoenix down. So something's on fire still? This is a pretty big boss, but yeah, this boss is so annoying. Like, killing it legitimately without using this trio of 999. And see, he's dead already. Like, if you don't kill him before he swallows the first character, it is, like, annoying as fuck. And because I have all these beautiful items, because we've been doing the monster catching, like, I'm gonna use them. I'm not going to just fight him over and over and over again. It would be like the Seymour fight, you know, where I had to try it, like, five times before I actually beat him. So anyway, there we go. Wonderful. All right. So the next thing that we need to do here is I think it should be, it's down. Oh, I didn't mean to hit surface. I didn't mean to, we want to go back in the water, back in the water. Okay. So down here, I think it's in this corner. Yeah, I want to hit dive. There's a chest that we need. 
There we go. Get down there. Aha! The celestial mirror seems to react. Oh no! It's, a, it's another celestial weapon! Ooh! The Onion Knight. That's gonna be for Lulu. Okay, so the next thing that we need to get is back in this door that we started to go through, but then the fishy attacked us. Oh, this way. So we're gonna actually find out now um, what this temple is for, because every temple before has had an Aeon inside of it, right? That we went and prayed to. But when we came here, there was, it wasn't like that. And we were so early in the game, we didn't really know. But now we know, oh, this is a sunken temple. So where's the Aeon? Ooh, what's this? Okay, so in this temple, instead of like solving a puzzle that's for this temple, you have to have solved the destruction sphere puzzles to get the extra treasure in every single other temple up until now. It's it's you? It's me? It's me? I'm hot? Wow, thank you, Jane. So you go up to these statues and they light up to show that you've collected the treasure in that temple. And you have to have all six of them, which is why I had to go back to Xanderkin, because I never did that white square puzzle um, when we were there before. I should have just gone back inside after uh, Unaleska, but I didn't. I forgot. So, is that statue's belly a mouth? Yes, the statue's bellies are mouths. Uh, they have two mouths. They have one on their face, you know, where you'd expect, and then they have a belly mouth. Um, I don't know which one they eat with. Probably the belly mouth, though. If I had a belly mouth, that's what I would eat with. There's one for each of these. So this is why it was so important when we were doing all the temples to get the destruction spheres at the time so we wouldn't have to go back and do them. Because um, it's really hard to go back and do them at certain points because once you get the airship, those dark aeons appear and then... I mean, you saw I tried to go back to Besaid like I can't now. Alright, let's go in here. Whoa. Oh, it's a lady. Maester Seymour's mother. So you know, yet still you seek my aid. My son, do you not hate him? A good question. It is all right. He is the one who sowed the seeds of hatred. He is to blame. Wow, harsh. But I am at fault for letting him become what he was. That's true. He was always alone, half Guardo, half man. I wanted to give him the strength to live by himself. And so I became a faith. But because I let him taste power, he began to thirst for more. He was not satisfied with my Aeon. He wanted more, more power. And he found sin. Yes. Come, Summoner. I will bestow you with my power. The Dark Aeon, Anima. Destroy sin and my son's obsession with it. We'll try. Though it is small recompense for what I did to him. This is so tragic. Okay, 
So now we have that amazing Aeon that Seymour used back in Luca all of those episodes ago. So what do we want to name him, guys? What do we want to name him? Remember we have floof, we have uh, fluffy, sparkles, I think cuddles, kisses. So we gotta keep we gotta keep that kind of theme. Giggles, oh that's perfect. Giggles, okay. Yes. Seymour's mom is very giggly. Obviously, we just met her. We saw. I mean, pretty much. As she's a demonic clown. I mean, she totally screwed up her son's life. So, yeah. All right, giggles. All right, there we go. That's our first optional Aeon that we've gotten. That's Anima. Anima is so cool. I cannot wait to use it on something um, when we get to that part. All right, we have collected a whole lot of ultimate weapons this stream. So we need to go actually turn those in. We need to go, we need to go power them up. We need to go power them up. So let's do it. Okay, now we can surface. I like how he shakes off. He's like, like a dog. He's like, <laughs> puppy Titus, puppy Titus. All right, let's save again. I don't want to lose any of this progress. All right, and then we're going to go. We're going to go to Makalania and find out how many celestial the weapons we uh, worked on this stream. How many, how many we've got to turn in. All right, let's go to, as y'all know, we go to Calmlands and then we run up from there. That's the best way. The best way to do the celestial weapons. Yes, I would like to ride a chocobo. All right. To that translucent, um, what would you call it? Prismatic? Kind of, I want to call it a rainbow bridge, but it's not really a rainbow, it's more like iridescent. That's the word, the iridescent bridge. It's called a bridge, it's called the rainbow bridge. You all know that video, that is some old, old um, internet right there. It's called the road, it's called the rainbow road. It is a road where you go. I love that video, it's so funny. All right, let's go Sparkle Forest to the Iridescent Bridge. The Celestial Weapons. I thought you made that up. Katie, you should know by now, I don't make anything up. Everything that I do is stolen from somewhere else. I, I have not a single um, unique thought in my entire head ever. <laughs> All right, have you the Celestial Weapon? Okay, so we should be able to do one for Yuna. So we have her moon crest, and we've never turned that in. We still don't have her sigil, though, so we can just do the moon crest. You guys are cool. Just look up Rainbow Road Song. Put Rainbow Road Song in YouTube, and you'll find it. All right, we got Waka's... Um, world champion and we have his jupiter crest so we can do that of course we don't have his sigil yet either it takes playing a whole ton of blitz ball blitz ball to get that which we just now started to kind of get to where that might be a thing the weapon's power has grown wow all right we also finished orins we did his crest before but we didn't have his sigil. We got his sigil now, so we can finish his, so he actually will have his celestial weapon fully powered up. Maximum power. All right, and if you remember last stream, we got everything for Riku's. So yes, let's do her Mercury Crest and her Mercury Sigil. The weapon's power has grown. Mm. 
yes, we're gonna do Rikus again. We ran out of time last time to come back here and do it. All right, Mercury Sigil. Whoa. Maximum power. Okay, and one more. We just got the Onion Knight, so we gotta power up Lulu's weapon. Because we already been done had her Crest and Sigil. Yes, I want to present other weapons. Hell yeah. The weapon's power has grown. And we do Lulu's again. Maximum power. Okay, so this stream, we were able to complete Orin's, Riku's, and Lulu's celestial weapons, and we were able to begin leveling up Waka's and Yuna's. So that's three and then kind of two halves. So the answer, if we make those 0.5, that's four. So four celestial weapons is what we'll call it for this stream. Um, so that's how many we got. So really, really good progress this stream. So what we're going to do for the rest of the time is let's go back to Calmlands and do some more monster capturing. Jane, Katie, I have an important question for you two. Important question. Oh, actually, let's do... Let's get back on the airship and then fly back down. Let's do it like that so I'm right by the chocobo lady. Important question for you guys. What did y'all have for dinner? Did you have anything the delicious? Final showdown was did you have a tasty dinner? I want to hear about it. I had um, Korean pork chops, which basically means Levi cooked pork chops in some gochujang. Yeah, we had rice and kimchi go. with it. It was really good. I freaking love gochujang. It is delicious. Okay, let's save. We don't want to lose any of this progress. All right, we need to switch Titus, Riku, and Waka back to their trapping things. Uh, let's see. Mm, iron grip. No, he still had catcher on. Okay. It was. It was really good. It was really freaking good. <clears throat> I fried breaded pork chops. Oh, very similar. So we were both, we were pork chop friends. It was way too damn hot to pan fry, but I did it anyhow because fried food is worth it. Big mood, Katie. Oh my god. Um, why does pan frying always do that? Uh, pan frying always makes the house like so freaking hot and, um, it also, like, the oil, like, gets in the air, so then you have to smell the oil for a while after you've cooked. But, oh my god, it's so tasty, so it's pretty much worth it. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's really hard, I think, to pan fry in the summer. And I don't even have to do it. Like, I just, like, watch Levi do it, and I still, like, feel that vicariously, you know what I mean? Um, who have I got in my party? Oh, I've got Riku here. Okay, well, she can go ahead. She can get rid of this guy. Okay, so what is this? This is a skull and Neberos. I have pasta with meat sauce and a bag of gummies. Well, that sounds delicious, Jane. My husband is a huge, huge gummy fan. Levi freaking loves gummies. I thought I heard that. Did y'all see that? Did he get far enough to be on the camera? I don't think he did. I think he was trying to come in here and scare me, but I heard his shuffle shuffle feet and caught him. Don't say hi, Lee. It's okay. Bree also noticed him, which kind of cued me in. I'm good, yeah. So I'm up here in this corner. So this should be where the Malbros and Ogres are. So we're gonna try to get some more of those. By pasta with meat sauce, do you basically mean um, spaghetti, Jane? Is that, is that what you had, or was it not spaghetti noodles? Is it a different kind of pasta? Uh, let's see. We're gonna power break you, Mr. Ogre. Get these skulls out the way. No, we 
don't like gluten-free spaghetti noodle options. Oh, I understand. Whenever Levi decided to do, like, keto, um, he's not fully on it anymore, but he was for a bit. And we tried a lot of that gluten-free stuff, and, um, and I kind of agree with you. Um, like, noodle noodles, you know, like, spaghetti-style noodles, there isn't really any good gluten-free ones. Like, that doesn't really exist, you know what I mean? Um, there's a lot of other weird stuff, like, gluten-free stuff that's, like, there is no good version of, you know? And it's funny because people that are, like, super into it will, like, post on forums and Reddit and things like that and say, Oh, well, this brand of this is really good. And we got tricked so many times buying, like, what the internet said was, like, a good version. And it was not good. Y'all, it was not good. The internet does not know. Oh, I see you, Katie. <laughs> Sup? <laughs> Okay, these are two Chimera brains. Okay, attack. Uh, let's see. Let's do... Armor break on the other one. We can kill it faster. I haven't had spaghetti noodle in so long, I think the texture would be weird. Oh, like you're not used to it anymore? What did I do? Oh, I thought I saw you load up Elder Scrolls. <laughs> On the steam. Okay, you should be basically dead. Oh, man. I thought that would kill you. Oh, you're installing it. Oh, that sounds so fun. Alright. Let's revive you. Are you gonna put some mods in? You can play a modded game? Or are you gonna play vanilla? Let's overdrive. Now I've been saving this one for you. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's probably a lot of stuff that I play on PC is mostly because of the ability to do mods on PC, you know what I mean? It's like, you get spoiled at a certain point. Yeah, Jane knows all about the Elder Scrolls, so she can show you all the good Elder Scrolls mods. I don't know about those. Um, I just know all the good Stardew mods, of course, you know that. Okay. Let's see. Bad breath. Um, let's haste everybody. These Malvos are so annoying. All right, um, so we can't just bust out an Aeon, it won't, we won't be able to capture it then. Um, let's put in Waka. Uh, remember, I can't attack the Malbro with Titus, because that'll heal him. So don't do that, Karen. Bring in Kimari instead. I remember from last time. Oh no, Kimari doesn't do anything. Well, at least doesn't heal. No. There we go. Anyway, that's good enough. Why are we beating up all the cute monsters today? Because we have to capture ten of each monster as part of one of the side quests, so... Since we have some time left in the stream, we finished everything I had planned. We're doing some more monster capturing. We've actually captured enough monsters now for the Celestial Weapon, like, getting those 10 unlocks that we did for Auron's Weapon was really, like, all I had to do. But why not do some more, you know what I mean? Because it will unlock other bosses that we can fight later if we so choose, and, you know, stuff like that. And every time you unlock one, you get, like, a whole fuck ton of items, like 99 of something or, like, 60 of something, which are really useful. So that's why we're beating up monsters. Wow, rude. Y'all see what they did to me? Pre-attacking me. Didn't even let me hit first. Can't believe it. Why would they do such things? Uh, let's see. Let's mm -mm. armor break him so he dies faster. I 
until next round. To bring to bring in um our friend Yuna. Alright. Come here, Yuna. Let's see. We don't need that big of a one. Oh, there we go. Cure Orin. Kira Kamari. The end. Okay, that was two Chimera Brains. I should only need two more of those. <clears throat> he did a little dance with his chest. Hell yeah, he did. Oh, this should be my last Chimera Brains, I think, that I need. Uh, let's do... Bring Titus back. Miss me? Yes, I missed your haste. It's so OP, and I love it. Uh, let's do... Armor Break. What's up, Oreo? He just crawled halfway up the chair just to look at me, and then he jumped back down. I don't know. I don't know why he did that. <laughs> I thought maybe he wanted some attention, but he went away as soon as I said hello. I think this is all the Chimera Brains I need. And we're good with those guys. <laughs> oh my god, he is. He has not figured out, by the way, how to start spraying. Um, but I feel like since he has started humping, that is coming soon. So, not looking forward to dealing with that between, you know, that time and when a vet will spay him or neuter him. Because um, they won't do it until six months of age. So we still got a little bit longer for that. I'm just double checking if I actually got as many Chimera Brains as I think I did. I think that's how many I need already. I think I'm good. I've done it, I've created a monster. This is a fabulous day, help me celebrate. Ooh, Supreme Gems, wanna take a swing at it? No, I'm good. Okay. Um, Let's look in Calmlands. So I've got 10 anacondars. Oh no, I need one more chimera brain. Okay. Ow, don't claw me, kitty cat. Excuse you. Excuse you, Oreo. What you want? Here we go. Look. Hey. Oreo, look, here's a toy. Look. Hey. Look, look at this. Oh, lady sees it. Lady sees the toy. Look at this. Okay. Woo! Lady this morning decided she wanted to play fetch. <laughs> and she kept bringing the toy to me over and over, y'all. It was the cutest little thing. Like, we played fetch for like half an hour this morning. It was freaking adorable. And she just learned how to do that, like, yesterday. And she, like, got obsessed with it. Um, I love it. They do tricks. I mean, kind of, sort of. It's really, like, it's really, like, just... Any form of attention from me, lady, is head over heels. I have never had an animal that was, like, so enamored with me the way that lady is. Um, she very much loves me the most and doesn't really care for other people too much. And I've never experienced that with a pet before. Most of my pets are... I've always been very friendly with pretty much anybody. I mean, that's, like, how Queen is. I mean, she's my cat, but she loves anybody. Any attention from anybody is good attention. But lady doesn't feel that way. She really just wants to hang out with me, which is very cute, but also can be very frustrating <laughs> when I'm trying to do things like work. You know what I'm saying? Wow, anacondars, you really didn't have to go down like that. Do I have a... Uh, I have softs. Let's just use a soft. Oh gosh, this is so unnecessary. This is so unnecessary, sirs. I really am just trying to run away. 
you keep stoning me? There we go. I won't go so easy on you next time. Oh. Made it out. It's funny, Oreo, her brother, um, is not like that. Like, he, he's pretty accepting of attention from anybody. He's not really super stuck on me. Um, so it's just crazy. It's just crazy how stuck she is on me. All right. So I need some Malbros, I need Ogres, and I need one more Chimera Brain. Definitely don't need any of these guys, these annoying stone things. Goodbye. There we go. We'll get these guys. You tell him. <laughs> you think so? I don't think they're too bad, but they are very annoying to fight. Definitely not a huge fan. Alright, so that should be the last one for reals. You weren't supposed to die, can I? Go ahead and revive him. Why not? So we can get the experience yeah. too. Yep, okay. Done with those guys. I wish more ogres would spawn. But I definitely need to get those from here. Lady, please don't walk on the keyboard. Okay, so this is a skull and two of the boss oh, things. Yeah. That's progress on those, because I still need all of those. Oh, I need to bring Walka in to get the wasps. Back on the field! Back on the field, that's right, Walka. <gasps> <clears throat> See ya! Blip, 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 blip! Here, ogre, ogre, ogre! Here, ogre, ogre, ogre! Nope, I don't need you anymore, Chimera Brains. You can stop spawning. The Malbros, I can get. There's another area where there's, they'll spawn, but the ogres, it's like exclusively in this top left area of the calm lands. Right, Katie? They are. It is a beautiful view. I love this. I love how pretty this game is. It's like really breathtaking in a lot of ways. Okay, so that's another cool girl. I do need that. You can see why, like, Calm Lands, you know, and when we first got here, the scene was like, oh, all these summoners lose their way here. They just kind of want to hang out where it's chill. And I can see it, like, these beautiful vistas and these big plains. I could chill here. I could chill here for sure. I'll be right back.
I don't know why ogres aren't spawning over here. They usually do in this area. Let's go. Let's go in this little section. See if we can get some ogres to spawn over here. What's up, lady? The kittens are hyper, I can tell. Y'all, please don't wreck things while I'm streaming. You can play on the bed instead of, like, behind the computer where all the cords are. That would be cool. Oh, okay. So this should be enough of those little wasp things, the nebirus. And then... What's this? We only need one more school after that. Good job, Missing. Take that! Take that! It's very nice, relaxing music. I hope this is making y'all chill out. I don't know when y'all go to bed or kind of how that works, but it's always nice after stream to kind of wind down a little bit. So I hope this is helping you guys wind down. Yeah. When it's got the nice calm land music, not the battle music. That's obviously yeah. not. <laughs> That's not going to help you wind down. But um, did you do a quiz earlier? I did, Katie. I did, Katie. Um, I can give you the link to that if you would like to do it too. Oh, I don't want Walker here. Come here, Orn. It's a pretty funny one! Oh, uh, let me see. There we go. I had to go grab the link. There we go. It's a pretty funny one. The answer I got was Hitalia. Um, you should take it and tell me what you get. <laughs> Ogres. I think I've got enough of the wolves, the skulls, and the nebiruses. Got enough anacondars, got enough chimera brains. The other things in this area are the flame flans, the shreds, uh, ogres, coolerals, and malbros. And the ogres are definitely the more rare of those. I should have enough of these, but let's kill this group just to make sure. Oh, yeah. Capture limit reached. And this guy should say capture limit reached too. Yes, okay, fabulous. Oh yeah! It's too. It's too. on, ogres. Let's see if I can get at least some of them before we end. Because they are not spawning for me. There's like a rumor that they will spawn more on these like brown patches. So I don't know, let's run around the brown patch. I don't think that's really true. I think data mining in the game proves that's not really a thing, but I'm not sure. It's an old, an old Final Fantasy X um, rumor. It was never proven as far as I know. But let's run around on this brown patch and see what happens. Maybe an ogre will spawn. Nope, but we do need that flame plan, so we'll kill that. What's up, lady? Did y'all hear that little meow? What? You can come up here. You need to be chill, though. Don't be crazy. You gonna be chill? I don't think so. I think you're in crazy mode. Is it spaz time? No, 
Don't you try to eat my fingers while I was playing a game. That's her favorite snack still. She loves to eat my fingers. Oh my god. You'll not stop biting fingers. Live and let live. I assume like the cat's teeth or something and she's doing that, but it hurts. Her little teeth are sharp. Ogres. Spawn, ogre spawn. Let's try going over in the other corner. Maybe they'll spawn better over there. Let's run around this little spire. Oh, here's someone to talk to. What you got to say? The gorge is called the Scar. They say that when the High Summoner cornered Sin, Sin tore the earth here asunder with the last of its strength. The High Summoner and Sin struck each other down at the gorge bottom. Lord Gandorf's sacrifice brought us the calm. I think that was a scene I never did when I was here originally. <laughs> and I was probably supposed to find that guy and do it, and I just totally forgot and skipped it. Oops. Oh, more quirrels. I do need those. Well, I guess you can silence me. I don't do magic on Titus most of the time, so it's not really going to help you. Okay, that's all the quirrels I need now, too. So we may not be getting the particular monster I want, but at least we're getting monsters that we need. You can't always spawn what you want. You can't that won't always go so easy spawn on you next time. what you want. But if you try sometime, you might just find you spawn what you need. Oh my gosh. I'll be right back. Song is supposed to summon things I need, not stuff I already have plenty of. Oh, I'm all bro. I do need that. Let's uh, haste and then get Titus out of there. I can't hit it either. Forget about that. Uh, okay. Come on, Waka. Yeah! yeah. Ooh, nice. Nine, 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 nine. Alright. Yuna, come and heal Waka. He needs it. Alright, well at least we captured another mouth, bro. That was needed. Hi again, lady. What's up? Why are you so hyper? Is it playtime? Hmm? Yeah? Is it playtime? Well, we could play, you know, in the living room or in the dining room. Oh, there's an ogre. I need you. Don't knock over my light, please. Thank you. Okay, get those skulls out of the way. And let's do... Oh, nope, there we 
we go. Let's do our armor break so he dies faster. We'll also power break him next or in turn. Oh, didn't need it because he did. All right. Let's go back to the save spot. And we'll find somebody to raid. I think that's about it for today. Well, we, we made a lot of progress. We got three celestial weapons finished and two of them half finished. Two more half finished now. So we've got celestial weapons from most of our characters, which is really awesome. We still need to finish Yunas and Wakas, of course. Um, actually, I think, is that the ones that we have? So we finished Orin's, Titus's, Riku's, Kamari's, Lulu's. Yeah, so we just need to finish um, Waka's and Yuna's. So that's awesome. Alright, so let's save here. And next time on Final Fantasy X, uh, we'll be playing more of this next week, and we will be doing another optional Aeon. So get your name ideas ready. Uh, this, is a, this is a greedy boy who loves money. All right, let me switch back to webcam while we find somebody to raid. Okay. Go away, game. Let's load up Twitch. Jingles. Ooh, I love that. Jane, make sure you're here next week so you can remind me Jingles. Okay, who are we gonna, who are we gonna raid? Who are we gonna raid? All right. I see somebody that we haven't raided before. Let me see what their stream looks like. This is somebody that's in Elixir, um, but I want to check them out and see what it looks like before we decide to raid into them. Mm, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to raid into an oldie but a goodie, our good friend Saskatchewan, who's playing Ark Survivor evolved right now with the three o's i always i always almost forget that when we raid him all right so we're gonna raid into saskatchewan all right guys thank you so much for joining me don't forget that on saturday our stream is going to be the rise and fall of jk rowling and we're going to be spending some more time playing our sims to legacy so don't miss out on that it's going to be really exciting um here's all my socials where you can find me you know how i do all that stuff yeah, it's going to be a really good stream. It's going to be a really good stream. And then, of course, next week here on um, Artistic License, we're going to do more Final Fantasy X. Uh, thank you, Jane. Thank you, Jane. Okay, guys, here we go. Let's go watch some um, Saskatchewan play some ARC. Okay, bye, guys. Don't forget to make it a great day.